Hello there. Hey, the energy is real. The energy is real. It's the wire finale. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been putting this reaction off for a couple of days. I do not want this show to end. It's been absolutely sensational. Season 5 has been pure cinema and we're in for pure cinema, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, with a movie length finale at 90 minutes. This episode is titled 30. My name is Ellie Moses, a 24-year-old law and film student here from Sydney, Australia, absolutely shooting his shot. And today we are up to the Wire season finale of season 5 of the entire series and i'd just like to thank you guys immediately i'd just like to thank you guys for the amazing journey it has been we have reacted to the sopranos the wire and now band of brothers back to back to back i have not finished band of brothers i've only just started it but some of the highest rated shows on on imdb of all time we have reacted to back to back to back to back to back actually we did breaking bad better call saw um the sopranos band of brothers and the wire sorry i mixed up the order there because i'm too excited but yeah all shows over the 9.0 rating, which is absolutely fantastic. That is a legendary run, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on a Michael Jackson album run. I'm on a Kanye West album run, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm tuning my horn too much. I'm just excited. Anyway, you're here to see my reaction to the finale. I'm here to watch the finale for the very first time. Let's get into the reaction. Let's have some fun with this thing. Let's absolutely smash it. Let's go. But if we... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that 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 uh that's a big bowl of shit. Yeah, yeah, they must have told him about uh McNulty and the serial killer being faked. I love how we're getting straight how to the can... point. Jesus Christ. We're just filled in on so what was being that, said uh... because of the reactions. <laughs> what? So no one <laughs> No serial killers. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Some were random killings. Some were natural deaths that were likely manipulated. But they're not linked in any way. But why? The detectives used the money to fund a case against the drug traffickers responsible for the slayings in a vacancy year ago. Last week's arrests and seizures were a direct result. So, uh, let me just understand this. Um, so I've been going out there for weeks, slamming the governor for his neglect of the homeless and declaring how we will stop at nothing <laughs> to find the person responsible for preying on the homeless and all the hey norman this is my ass here <laughs> that's true boss but it does have a certain charge <laughs> they manufactured an issue to get paid we manufactured an issue to get you elected governor hey everybody's getting what they need behind some make-believe that's the entire wire ladies and, and gentlemen be suspended and ultimately fired at the least yeah you know he that? gone a criminal prosecution on fraud and perjury charges is probable. Us doing everything in our power to catch the guy. Hey, guess what? That, that, the joke's on us. Not to mention that the evidence against the traffickers arrested last week is tainted. That case could collapse as well. Damn. I don't fucking believe this. You two are on point here. Word of this gets down to Annapolis, the governor's gonna wreck me with it. And if it comes to that, you guys drop on your sword, so help me. How does word not get out once we suspend the detectives? Well, maybe, listen, I love Norman for being a real one here, for calling it out as it is, just laughing at the matter in general. Everyone's using um, a situation to get what they want. Um, and yeah, maybe if you initially had taken that 50 mil and divided the funding between the police, the schools, and not had got the police frustrated in general to begin with, this wouldn't have been done. So yeah, it's the domino effect, ladies and gentlemen. It goes way back. The jury for a criminal case. The cops that did this, they gotta go. You cannot be telling me I have to live with this. Deputy, counselor, if you two will excuse us, we are going to discuss this first as a matter of public policy. Until we can reason the best way to address this, do nothing and speak to no one about any of this. If this becomes public in the wrong way, a lot of people who are legally responsible for the situation, good people who are nonetheless in a supervisory role here, are going to suffer. And that's not the outcome that anyone wants. Forget about the Barksdale what Empire. Is is that we need to be very careful about how to proceed. Crumbling down. The whole of Baltimore falling down, man. <laughs> I 
wish I was still at the newspaper so I could write on this mess. <laughs> oh, you'd have a field day. It's too fucking good. <laughs> I love Norman, man. When you walk through the garden, Let's go, baby. One last time. What's the final quote of The Wire going to be? What's the final quote? I love how the final shot's Karketi turning his back. The life of kings, H.L. Menken. Ha <laughs> ha ah. The king stay the king. Big up Avon. He's still the king of my eyes. <laughs> 80 over the last year at the Taj Mahal, and that's just the Atlantic City casinos. I like to play, so what? Uh, you lost three times your salary over the last two years. I ran you through Sentinel title and came back with seven pages of liens and a third mortgage you folded on two months ago. Gary, you're done. Woo! What do you mean? We found sealed grand jury papers in the houses of drug dealers. And we got people naming you on it. Why did you look at me? I ran the finances on everyone who worked this unit over the last couple of years. You were the only bogey. If the SAO wasn't so screwed up, they'd been running background checks as a routine. But I guess you knew that. I always wondered if they'd get their shit together. But that's Baltimore, isn't it? <laughs> so what happens now? Well, for starters, you're gonna make a phone call. <laughs> McNulty, Freeman, Fox Signal, anyone who has a smell of this on them should be gone. Before the close of business, they should be suspended, and before the end of the week, indicted. I know, but. But what? We're gonna let this shit stand because it'll hurt Cockettie to air it out? Instead of cleaning house like we need to, he's up there figuring out how to hide the dirt. I swear I got a mind to call them governor myself and just let it fly. Cedric, you can't. Why not? <laughs> let it fly. Let this thing stand Effort. We'll just roll over and play dead for every police who knows about this. We cover this up. Cedric, you can't do anything. Those are your detectives. They need someone to blame. They will measure you for it. I don't give a fuck. And they'll fire me. Everyone's career is at stake here, man. You heard Steintorf. I was in charge of this thing. I was on that wiretap. This is my career. This is everything. <laughs> you go public, and it hurts Carcetti. Maybe he doesn't get to be governor, but he is still the mayor, and Bond is still my boss. And you know the weight will not fall on them. It never does. Christ. Everything I worked for all those years in that courthouse. Please. Miss 25 cents, Baltimore Sun. <laughs> I love these two, man. <laughs> One of the bright sparks of season five. Well, it is a little more problematic for me. The offenders are in my shop, are they not? I have a word with you in private, Bill. Hey, if Rawls isn't in, I'm not either. Oh, I wouldn't worry about Bill Rawls. I believe he's about to have one of those road to Damascus <laughs> moments. Why is Norman having all the highlights this episode? Bro, I can see what you're thinking in there. I can you might as well put a popcorn bucket in that guy's hands because he's enjoying, he's relishing everything that's happening at the moment. see the gears <laughs> grinding in that head of yours. You're thinking, hey, I might have some wood on Carcetti here. After all, there's no way they could pin the blame on me for this fiasco without doing their boy Daniels too, right? You're thinking we'd have to fire Daniels to fire you, and that wouldn't sit well given how much we've already sold Daniels. Isn't that what you're thinking? Everybody got to play their cards right here. Wait for you to leverage this to get yourself a full term as commissioner to delay Daniels a few more years in exchange for you shutting the fuck up and doing what you're told. And you know what, Bill? You're not far off. You do have a little leverage here, but just a little. And I wouldn't overplay your hand. How would you play it? I'd shut the fuck up and wait your turn. And when Tommy gets to the state house, he brings you with him to be state police superintendent. Damn, that's because one hell of an offer. To white to run the Baltimore department. You're just about right for the MSP. <laughs> I have your word. And I have yours. Damn. Damn. 
white boy said, I'll give you a promotion of all promotions. Is the way to go. See, the police commissioner done fell off his ass. <laughs> <laughs> How are they letting Norman get away with this amusement here? <laughs> Oh, uh, I need yes. to see Mr. Presbo. I said it last episode. He needs to go visit Presbolewski. Thank you. We got Dookie, man. I was like, hopefully that's not the last we see of him. Oh, I think, remember Naaman's knife fell in the bushes? Or someone's knife fell in the bushes from the top window? It's me to well, it's good to see you, Duquan, but you're not a student here, so I can't let you inside. I, ju I just came past to see Mr. Presbo. Well, he's teaching right now. I know. I, I can wait. Well, you're, you're going to have to stay outside. And after the bell, I'll tell Mr. Presbolewski you're out here for him, okay? I swear, do not go away, Duquan. Please, man. Be patient. I'm going to surprise you with something. You already have. <laughs> I got a tip from an informant about a leak out of the grand jury unit. Sad to say it's checked out. We know about the leak. Yeah, but do you know who it is? Gary DePascal. Decent enough guy, but he's got a bear of a gambling problem and a bank of drug lawyers who are willing to pay for their look -sees. Troy Sanders, Marvin Bronfman, Dennis Cray, Sid Silverstein, and the pick of the litter, Maurice Levy. I kid you not. Gary, is there a leak? He broke right away. He's ready to give it up. He needed to. One party consent call implicating Maury Levy. Where's Gary now? He went up to the second floor to hand in his letter of resignation. Then he went home to wait for the sword to drop. He's okay. He's better than you think. Just when Rhonda doesn't you know, have enough on her plate. <laughs> we can turn Levy and some of these other drug lawyers. We can route the drug money all over town. Sad business, I know, but at least we know the truth now, right? The truth, you say? Lester's unaware at the moment. <laughs> oh, Presbolewski! Looking all biblical, man. They're looking Old Testament. Damn! Hey! Damien, you lost your mind? I don't care what you said. You're gonna buy him a new sandwich. And past that, you're gonna go inside and ask Mr. Williams for a room <laughs> to clean that up. You understand? Right? Now, my guy came out of the school looking to split up the Red Sea, man. Come on, big up, Presbolewski. <laughs> or your mind for another week of detention. I don't want to hear another word. It looks like you got the hang of it. What's up with you, Duquan? All he needed was to grow a beard. Nothing. Um, I was hoping maybe I could get with you, borrow some money, so I can get a place in some clean clothes and get myself settled. So I can go back to school. Yeah, on the street. I mean, I got some people ready to give me a really, really good place if I can come up with some money for it. Come on, Prez. Look at him. He's not showered. What do you need? A couple hundred. But if you can go 150 more, I can enroll in the GED program down BCCC. Then I can get my GED without having to go back to Southwestern. Then I can get my work permit. I don't think you're eligible for a GED program. Please. If you're still of age to attend high school, you climb. Yeah, you are. I'll tell you what. Unless he... Uh, hopefully he's not minutes. chipping, Prez. I'll drive you down there. If you are eligible, I'll write a check right to the bursar's office down there. No, Mr. P, you ain't, you ain't got to go through all that. Besides, I really ain't got the time to go down there today. But, you know, I'm going to. Don't tell me you're trying to hustle Prez for I some money. It, if that's what you want. Please, Duquan. And I don't even care about the money. But understand, I'm going to go down to BCCC in a few days and find out if you're enrolled. And if you are, I'm going to say, great, Duquan can come past with his certificate when he gets it. And we're still friends. And he can still rely on me. But Please. if you aren't enrolled, then... Please. Well, I imagine I'm not going to see you again, am I? I just want Mr. what's best for everyone, man. I'm definitely going to enroll. You'll see. Please, Duquan, please. I'll get my stuff. I'll meet you in the lot. And we'll go find a bank machine. Hey, all I'm saying is, we run down all the leads we had, all the office reports are in, and at this point, barring any new developments, I don't need all this fucking manpower. 
Fuck me, Jimmy. Last week you were crying for every swinging dick you could get your hands on. Well, the case has gone quiet. There's no red ribbons, there's no bodies, there's no disappearances, there's not a fucking word on the cell phone. This thing's fucking useless. So what? You don't <laughs> want the wiretap either now? Well, the judge gave us 60 days. Once that runs out, then... Motherfucker, you were the one who was all sent for five for this serial killer, and now you're fucking the dog. Jay, I'm ready to work the case. But short of any new leads or developments, what the fuck do you want me to do? I can't make shit up, can I? Remember the wiretap used to be not long enough. They're like, we need to, you know, get another um, document signed by the judge so we can extend the wiretap another 30 days. Now 60 days is too much. Oh my, how the times have changed. How the turntables. <laughs> it is what it is. If I send the surveillance teams back, Jimmy, don't come crying for more manpower tomorrow, you hear? Shit is like a war, ain't it? Easy to get in, hell to get out. What a line. Yeah, yeah, this is one of those moments but like, our shit's out. Bunk, join in, man. Nah, Bunk, stay distant, man. Stay distant. You just know when two detectives go into the investigating, um, into the interrogation room alone. Everything. Daniels too. They figured it out. How? I don't know. What do they, what do they... I don't know. She made it clear in no uncertain terms that not to be any further homeless killings. Nothing more on this case whatsoever. Does she know about Marlowe? But I can't he knows everything. Daniels knows. They went down to the ECU, dialed up the wiretap number, and up pops Marlowe's cell phone. Why aren't we fired? Why aren't we in fucking bracelets? But City Hall's keeping it in check. We gotta get out of here. We gotta think this thing through. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Look, meet me down at Cabin Laws in 10 minutes, all right? I'm interested to see how this all plays out. How this is swept under the rug. You know, who bites the bullet? We got made. <laughs> I'm like... I knew it. Damn, boy. Teach him his love, your black ass. Come on, Duquan. Think better, They're man. Put our testers up on Poplar Grove. We're gonna be late for There's a better life for you out there. There's a whole another world. Come on, bud. Hand in your letter of resignation, Duquan, please. Oh my word. Yo, remember those early elevator reveals in like season one and two? That's probably going to be the best one in the entire series. Lance Reddick, when he's pissed off, has the best facial expression. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to laugh. I got to be Norman this reaction. No, there's only one left episode left, man. It can't be to be continued. It's just... Fuck, fuck, fucking <laughs> it, it, It's literally the hour and ten minutes we have left. It, there's no to be to, to continue, man. What's I'm, I'm slurring my words. Got his cheese for lunch again here, girl? <laughs> just because it happened, to be continued. <laughs> what a line. What a line. Beautiful. No, no, no. I mean it. <laughs> the real Joe Mitch stuff on the page. It really makes me feel like I know this guy and his world. I just pulled it all through the keyhole. Thanks, Gus. We get some good art, and we push for the Sunday front. Well, the thing is, I gotta make sure the guy's good with it. I mean, part of the story about the kid still bothers him, and when he told me about it, he was just talking. Well, you told him you were writing about him, right? No, but I'm putting the guy's life out there. I just want to feel clean about it. Thank you. Know you. That's good journalism. I remember clean. I remember clean shit. <laughs> I feel like nobody... Obviously, they're not in a hurry to go public because we ain't cuffed. They're pretending on this case like we're pretending. Why? Because they got their own interests too. He's exposed on this. How? Thank you. He's blaming it all on us, on the department. He's going for he governor. They got to kill Rawls, Daniels, and have the chain of command, and he made those guys. It's his police department. So he opens himself up right when he's out there running for governor. You want us to do what? Run this thing down quietly? It's no problem. Six months from now, after the election, they might decide to open it up in grand jury. So we can still go to jail. 
And if not, I expect to be back in the pawn shop unit. And <laughs> ride the boat. <laughs> ride the boat. <laughs> if lucky, you get well, to ride the boat. Depends. Are they going to let the case against Marlow and his people stand knowing what they know? Well, why wouldn't they? It still works on the seizures and cell phones. It works without the illegal tap. Yeah, it does. And they made a big deal about dropping Marlow. They called that press conference and linked him to all the bodies. For them to drop the case now. You know, you think about it. We got almost as much on them as they do on us. Yeah, I was literally about to say, um, everybody needs to keep their cards close to their chest. And... It depends how they all play him at the moment because everyone's got leverage on one another. And knowing Lester and McNulty, um, especially Lester, he's going to think of a way to somehow protect and cover their asses because they got leverage on the other individuals. So this is going to be one big, um, you know, massive scheme that's going to play out. And I cannot wait. This is a massive poker table and they're all on it. And you got teams forming on one part of the table, other teams forming on other sides of the table, um, other people trying to stay in their own lane, um, not showing their cards to anyone. Some people are showing their cards to others. Other people know, e know, know everyone's cards. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic. I'm so interested in this stuff. Like, obviously, it seems like, I don't know, maybe the street stuff is going to take a sort of backseat this episode because of the fallout from this. And I'm so invested in this. That's the why, ladies and gentlemen. I've been invested in every storyline since the get-go um and i said it in like a lot of reactions yes the street stuff is absolutely amazing watching the game play out the game is the game the game will forever be the game um and all those game scenes are sensational and when it does cut from the game stuff i am not missing out on the game stuff because of how exceptional everything else is um even the political stuff i'm invested in it i don't get bored of all of the political jargon even the newsroom this season has you know been turned up a notch i thought it was going to be boring to begin with or i thought too much time was going to be spent on it but i have grown to like haynes um, um, and I've grown to like the other reporters, not Templeton, by the way. Templeton is that guy, listen, that will do ancient history in high school and not quote anyone. He will do a bunch of quotes and not state the source. That's that guy. I remember doing ancient history in school and doing like Augustus, Julius Caesar. And when you quote someone, you have to quote, um, you know, from their letters they wrote, you know, the letters of Cicero um, or the 12 Caesars, stuff like that. Templeton will quote someone and say he got it from the old testament or the new testament and they'll be like what what's this got to do with augustus and julius Caesar? Like, <laughs> it's so good man if tom wolf wanna be think you're gonna get a phrase like that past me <laughs> haynes is on a mission everyone's on a mission no bail you're claiming a propensity for violence and witness intimidation at the bail review, trying to have you held as the kingpin. They can do that. They can try. Depends on which judge they draw. <laughs> so I don't got no bail for Chris, right? I mean, he got the murder warrant. Monk, neither. Too much weight in his car, and he's on parole from the 04 charge. The best I could do was spring Mr. Wagstaff on 300000 You sure that kind of money? Put up his uncle's house on surety bond for a third of it. Bondsman is fronting the rest on a fake lien. Damn. Right now, the important thing is not bail, though. The important thing is this. I need you to tell me who else knew your clock code. Told you. Me, Cheese, Monk, Chris, and the supply. That's it. No one else. No one else even had my cell number, except you. Yeah, that's when Levy's gonna do a bit of digging now, too. Look, the police say a source told them that you were re-upping on the day. That word of that might have slipped out, if that's possible. I mean, if you were wholesaling all over town. They only grab your cells when they arrest you. And then they have to go get warrants before they can look at the photos on the phones. Mm -hmm. and it's only when they get to the photos and break the code mm -hmm. that they have enough to type a charging document for you or Chris, right? I mean, you aren't caught with drugs. Mm -hmm. But they had arrest warrants on both mm -hmm. of you within a couple hours. Which means that they broke the code almost instantly. In no time at all. <laughs> Why did me? My investigator thinks so. But he says he doesn't know for sure which unit ran the tap or who manned it. It doesn't add up. You get now. You ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Smith. You round up as much muscle as possible and get that boy. 
He did snoop because he knew we was on him. He knew we was on him because he didn't want to talk about the damn Rio. That's false, man. Together, man. The bonds we came in with Levy. Who knows that cheese is just not gonna get up and leave town? <laughs> nah, he probably gonna muscle up, man. He only knows Baltimore. Is he gonna take a photo of this? Here it comes, the dreaded Crab Claw. You know what happens when Crab Claw goes? No, it's all crap tonight. No, Crab Claw. It's Crab Claw. <laughs> what a game. What a game. I love that game. Where? You fucking kidding me? It's, it's, it's more bullshit. It's bogus, Jay, I'm telling you. Keep running the string out. I have no choice. He said the boss is no. Yeah, some do, some don't. The ones that do want us to keep pretending. If we stop pretending, then... Listen, we'll finish this tomorrow night, okay? Aww. See you in a bit. Big up Beady, man. I don't know how she's still putting up with it. He loves him that much. Well, it's you. He's got you. Yeah, well. I mean, he's got what you're about. That's good. The guy likes you. That shows through. I mean, you know, he's saying that this giving back that you're doing, he's putting that up against your rod, and, you know, he ain't letting you off the hook for shit, but he's just putting it all out there, you know, the good and the bad. You know what? He ain't sugarcoating it. The bad don't bother me to have out there. I know the bad. I ain't lying to no one about the bad. Yeah, he carrying it himself. Scared of somebody calling you good? A lot of folks volunteer places. A lot of folks share meetings. Plenty of motherfuckers wake up every day and not get high. Man, making me sound special for doing what the fuck I need to be doing. But your story could be an inspiration for change for other individuals that read it. Think of that. You can hold back from the suffering of the world. You have free permission to do so, and it is in accordance with your nature. But perhaps this very holding back is the one suffering you could have avoided. Fonzie Kafka. Who's he? Some writer. Read his books? Fuck no, but. <laughs> you remember Flubber? Gray Van? You got the tag? I couldn't see it from where I was. Describe the driver. White, six foot, uh, not heavy, not skinny either. Clothes. Nothing I noticed, kind of nondescript. Brother! Nondescript. I was surprised, I guess. I just thought, whoa, what's he doing? I can't. It's funny it being you to see this. It's weird. <laughs> An interview doesn't run late. I'm not even here tonight. <laughs> Mind if I get inside? Uh, I gotta check in with my desk. You need anything else? You got my number. Yeah. Come on, this guy is one of the most frustrating individuals I have seen. That guy's an asshole. Someone tried to kidnap you? Drag you into a van? Okay. Who was trying to hurt you? My father. But he was a drunk. Detectives, there's a vagrant over here. Says he saw something. Please see through this shit, man. Please. What'd you see, fella? The last thing McNulty needs is this case being prolonged. McNulty? Johnny Weaver Tactical. Okay, why'd you say so? JW. Trying to keep you cover, huh? Yeah, it's better for everyone down here thinks they're one of the Oh right? my hey, gosh. What's the ruckus with Petey? You were drunk? Yeah. Uh, Sun reporter says he's going into his building. He sees a guy trying to drag him into a gray van. It's bullshit, right? Yeah, Petey was laying there for 45 minutes before that preppy cocksucker even parks his car. Thanks. No problem. Hey, oh. give me a dollar, make it look right. My gosh, that's right. That's right, because they're still undercover cops, you know, posing as the homeless. Oh! They lock up every liar. There's no room in BDC for anyone else, right? <laughs> More trouble than it's worth. Jay, it's horse shit. I'm going home. Yeah. 
That was, that was a crazy reveal right there. Damn. <laughs> Already made dinner. Put it in the fridge. Call for lunch tomorrow if you like. Nah, I can't anymore. <laughs> Come on, man. I feel like Bub's being led upstairs and, you know. We don't run this shit, especially not off the front. I saw what I saw. Alma is on the phone with police PIO, and they are telling us on the record and off that they are discounting any report of a possible abduction. That may be, but that doesn't mean they're doing their job, and it doesn't mean we shouldn't. Our job is to report the news, not the manufacturing. Thank Fuck you. you, Gus. What? Nice. Brother, mother, but this Scott Templeton. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bob. Man, this got Templeton full. Oh, how is this falling on deaf ears? How is the higher up? Um, it's on site. It's on site. I know that they're jealous of how much play his stories get. Huh? But the truth we is, we cannot run this shit. Are you suggesting that Scott made any of this up? Yes, yes, yes. You ever notice? The guys who do that, the, the Blairs, the Glasses, the Kellys, they always start with something small. You know, just a little quote that they clean up. And then, and then it's a whole anecdote. And pretty soon they're seeing some amazing shit. They're the lucky ones who just happen to be standing on the right street corner in Tel Aviv when the pizza joint blows up and the human head rolls down the street with the eyes still blinking. The pictures were sent to him. The police have confirmed. It the always starts with something true. Something confirmed. But then you got a son of a bitch who just happens to be walking in the Guilford entrance when the mysterious gray van comes. Gus, up. this has gotten personal between you and Scott. No, he just it's doing the right thing. Judgment. Yes, brother. I'm moving the story through the state desk. You should go home. Think this through. You know, you know how, you know how, you know, Karketi is obsessed with um, governor and he'll do anything to get the governor. These guys are so obsessed with Scott Templeton and his story is getting the Pulitzer. That's why. That's why. That's their main objective. That's their main goal. Oh, oh. I can't. It's so frustrating. It's so. I can't stand these type of people, man. I can't. I can't, man. I'd let out the biggest. Maybe you want a Pulitzer with this stuff? And maybe you got to give it back. It's in my notes, Gus. Everything that happened, everything that guy said when I got to him, every last word is in my notes. Broad. Yo, beef at the sun? I'm all here for it. Beef at the Baltimore sun. Hey, at least he came home. He doesn't deserve any more chances, but. Home earlier than I thought. Yeah. Home. <laughs> Yay, that's a win. You hit again. Who did? Serial killer. Get a crib, motherfucker. You don't believe me? Check out his left wrist. That's a white ribbon. Fucking with me again, Bob. Copycat. Call McNulty, get him down here. Okay, so maybe there's actually some serious stuff right here. And someone's using this to his advantage. Everyone leveraging any Maury. type of experience here. Maury. You're going over the charging documents on the part of Stanfield drug arrests. Problematic, to say the least. How so? They grab the phones, and minutes later, they've cracked an elaborate code that implicates everyone. No one's that brilliant. Not the BPD, anyway. <laughs> you don't know Lester Freeman. <laughs> I know what I know. <laughs> and this feels to me like an illegal wiretap. <laughs> You guys were up on those phones and tracking my clients long before they went near any drugs. Untrue. It's crazy because this entire show, I swear, it's all about who has the leverage and who has the one-up on one another. But all these one-ups or all these leverages are converging this episode. That's the problem. And it's whoever's one has, holds more weight is going to come out victorious. And I'm, I'm just enjoying it. I'm just enjoying it. Discovery and I'm going to have no problem knocking down that I'm an anonymous source. My and an innocent bystander. 
With all the budget cutbacks, the only wiretap you all have had up this year has been on the uh, homeless killer thing. Whatever else you're running is illegal. Sources? Title threes were supposed to be secret, Maury. Pull the tape! Are you saying you have a source of information inside the courthouse? It's a figure of speech. Uh. Ah, ah. What I'm saying is that this, this shit is a bloodier case. And if you wait until this goes past indictments, I'm, I'm going to run wild with it. Good luck. We should talk. Not a court. <laughs> he still got the ace. She still got the cassette tape. Come on, I want that cassette tape Isn't on enough? Spotify, podcast, YouTube it. Premium, everything. Should be. I think that if you do this, these son of a bitches will do you. Come. Sorry. There's been another homeless murder. South Baltimore. This might help. Careful. Scott here. I can't protect you. No fucking way. Dead for a while. I'm not gonna assume, Jimmy. From the fact that the ribbon ain't red. And the simple fact that you don't need another body because Marlowe is locked up. I got nothing to do with this. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> eliminated one suspect. You see what you started here? The bosses are gonna toss it back to you. No doubt. Boss's nose bullshit. What? Daniel's nose. Perlman too. How the fuck you? <laughs> Bunk's reactions. How much Can you give us a minute? You turn the world upside down with your bullshit. How are you not in jail? <laughs> the lies so big people can't live with it, I guess. Jesus fucking Christ, Jim. How are you not in jail? I told you. I fucking told you it was gonna come to this. You played with fire, did you? And now we're all getting burned. Yo, that's actually insane, man. That's actually insane. This changes everything. Ooh! You should throw the opening pitch, Kakeri! Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Oh, Daniel's at... Oh, Mc... <laughs> oh, Raw's here too. Brother! It's about to get kinky! It's done, surely, right? There's no way. killing them yourself, McNulty. At least assure me of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no, you disappeared. Wallahi, wallahi, wasn't me. Okay. Last I checked. Good. That's a start. I guess. I thought you got a message. Copycat. I got nothing on this one. Jesus. How'd you do it? How'd you get them by the medical examiner? Some are real, and I just link them with the ribbons. Some I juke to strangle jobs. If it matters, I know now. Fuck what you know now! This was all for money, McNulty? You couldn't live without the OT? The Stanfield case. It was that. I know where it went, but you got paid, too. You and Freeman and maybe a dozen other guys. It wasn't about the money. Down the road when we settle on this, and we will settle on this, I don't expect any of you will ever see another hour of OT again. I don't expect any of you will be doing police work. Yeah, I was about again. to say, OT implies that he's still saying his police work. Jury right now is because our mayor can't live with that. Oh, yeah. The mayor knows your name. So this is your last case. Work it. If you're a head detective, you think you are. You'll put this one down fast and take us all off the hook. The longer this goes on, the worse the payback's going to be. It's the overtime. <laughs> the only thing we can do is barter. Then barter. This can't go to court. We do have some leverage. I told y'all. Everybody got leverage. Let's just say Mr. Levy has problems of his own to deal with. <laughs> Make this go away. And the mayor will not forget that you did so. This is the ultimate cleanup job, oh, wow. man. Not even the bacterial 99... <laughs> Where's the pocket? Oh, you have questions about the report of the kidnapping. 
Yes, ma'am. Like I said, before I was interrupted, not even the antibacterial 99.9% .9 can clean up this mess. I'm burning that fucking newspaper building to the ground. Huh. <laughs> you go do that, Jay, please. Yeah, but every card has an alibi. Let me see. I thought we were done with this. He gonna solve this quick. He gonna solve this quick. So, where are you going with this? Hey. Who's up next? I think it's down. Motherfucker, you ain't that good. <laughs> hey, Melty, what's up with that? You okay, Gus? Hmm? Yeah, I'm good. Alma, what's up? Come on, I trust Alma. She's a good journalist. It's empty. What's empty? His notebook. Hey, he waved at you, saying it was all filled with notes. It's empty. Every page. At least try and write something. He ain't even trying. That's that. Brother. Brother. <laughs> At least have some effort. All Alma had to do was pick up the thing. Oh, he going in. He's storming in. Yeah, give me that one take tracking shot. Go in, Gus. Go in, Gus. What the fuck is that about? Bro, I'd be chucking left and right hooks at those twos. Immediately. Someone going through that glass. Police on a sweep of the homeless under Hanover Street. I'll get right to the point. Please do. Mari, hey. Yeah, hi. You, uh, you have Stanfield, right? Mm -hmm. He's your client? Yeah, him and his people. Well, I have some stuff straight from the grand jury that you're going to want to see sooner rather than later. Is this is a Title Three case? You're going to find it interesting, I promise. All right, when can you meet? Uh, tomorrow, after work. Yeah. Same money, right? Yeah, the money's the same. <laughs> I love that right there. They've done that so many times um, with, you know, a character will be racked out of focus, um, either in the forefront or background, and we'd be paying attention to only, um, you know, one um, sort of one object in frame or one individual in frame. He would be um, the main center of attention. And we'd done it a couple episodes ago with McNulty, Bunk, and Jay. And I think it was once Bunk and Jay. And then now right here, you obviously had the tape recorder. That was in the forefront of the frame, but that was blurred out. And there was racking focus on Levy's facial expression because it was the extreme close-up shot or the close-up shot of the, um, obviously, the tape recorder. But that wasn't the center of attention. The center of attention was Levy. And his facial expressions are absolutely um, fantastic because you had the low angle shot looking up um and you know what the tape recorder was the mvp man <laughs> we can grand jury gary di pasquale tomorrow along with that one party consent call or here's the deal no court trials Hartlow pleads to all the bodies in the vacants and takes life no parole we'd want the second shooter too but pearson's beyond that now Metcalf and wag staff plead to possession with intent Stanfield takes 10 years on conspiracy. Damn. Protect your own career like and sell out court. your client. The moment you came in here and offered that quid pro quo, you were guilty of obstruction of justice. You're right. I could get six to eight years. Everyone putting your all out on the line. The bribery of a state's attorney and the violation of grand jury secrecy, you could see 10 to 12. I'll be out a couple years before you, Maury. <laughs> you come home, first round's on me, I guess. <laughs> Damn, Rhonda. Keep this case out of open court. The file must be dirty as hell. Everhart, 274, Maryland 459, or Ciccolini, 435, U.S. 268. Lying cops don't automatically kill a case. Damn, she done That's her casework. risk on appeal. She got precedent. Got a lot of dirt for your office to show. No. You're scared of the light. Partlow takes his chances on the legit murder charge only. The conspiracy count goes, and Stanfield and the rest walk. Depends on the Stanfield judge you get. walks, but the case goes on the Stead docket. Not dismissed outright. And although I can tell you there are people in the city who can't tolerate a scandal at this particular moment, that dynamic changes after November. The elections. After November, no one is going to care as much about showing dirt. 
If Carcetti wins, he's in Annapolis. If he loses, he's an incumbent mayor who can take a hit or two. So you tell Mr. Stanfield that this is his only window. Hartlow pleads to all the murders, and both lieutenants plead to the drugs. Then Stanfield retires. He's done. Damn. We even get the scent of him on the street ever again. This case comes off stat and goes to trial. And if we have to put a few cops in jail right behind him, so be it. We'll bring the evidence and take a hit. The client walks away now. Or the both of you don't walk at all. <laughs> Damn, man. See, it's whoever ha whoever's going to have more weight here. Whoever's punch carries more power is going to do the most damage. Ronda's putting a lot of Hercury on the line too. Marlo could potentially walk, but he got to retire. He got to hand in his letter of resignation to the game. Oh, was it this guy? Oh, with the business cards. That's right. And the white ribbons. Bingo. Just like that. Hey, Bunk, he that good. He that good. Did you have a card? Black liar. Why'd you kill your friend? Now, was that necessary? He drinks. He's always drinking. Yeah. And you put a ribbon around his wrist. Like the others. Yeah. Did you see that on television? Okay, this guy just straight admitting ribbon it. Ribbon on the wrist. Did you hear about that from other people? Why'd you do the thing with the ribbon? Nobody understands. I always know what I'm going to do before I do it, okay? I always know what I'm going to do. Did you kill the others? Did you kill all of them? Every one of them! They could pin all the homeless murders on him. <sighs> He just said every one of them. I did it because I knew I was going to do it. Okay. I've killed millions. They could spin and this. They all killed me. It's probably not enough, they but like. All the murders, huh? See, like. Oh, yeah, Bunk giving Jimmy that look. You're a coward. I can tell. They could say the homeless serial killer just came out. He did all the card? murders. What? Gee, he, he's bullshit. I know he is. But the newspaper made such a fuss, the major wants us to jerk him off just to say we did. Is there a way where both worlds here with the Marlow Sanford and the homeless murders can be brought to light? gray van either what he doesn't have a gray van I just need McNulty to meet up with Gus Haynes no gray van and he didn't call you on the phone either did he he didn't call you the first time I didn't call you the second I did that <laughs> you find me in front of my father <laughs> and those pictures you got I took those and the missing guy He's my second cousin. We sent him up to Atlantic City with a roll of quarters. And you know why I can tell you all this? Because you lying motherfucker. You're as full of shit as I am. <laughs> he talking to himself. <laughs> live with it and play it out for as long as it goes, right? Just the journalist version. <laughs> Trapped in the same lie. Talking to himself. I love that. Says, I know why I did it. Fuck if I can figure out what it gets you in the end. But hey, I ain't part of your tribe. You're not serious, you keep No. No, I'm a fucking joke. And so are you. Bam! That was McNulty on his Joker arc right there. Besides acknowledging he's a joke. <laughs> big up McNulty, man. Not big up, but like, I've had enough of this guy, but that, that was a highlight. That was a highlight. Put down the highlight reel. That's going on House of Highlights on Instagram. Get your ass out of here, fool. The walk of shame. Oh, 
Hulk in the background. He might get found out here. You walk. <laughs> Chris eats the murders. Every last one takes life with no parole. No parole? No shot. But they've got him called on the one with the DNA. Can you sell that? Is Chris loyal? Yeah. Damn. As long as I take care of his people. Cheese and Monk are looking it up to 20 for the drugs. But there's going to be no assets investigation, and you come home with all your money. And why do they let me walk? <laughs> they don't want to. But there's some shit in their case, and they'd rather not show it in court. Mm. And here's the rub. If you stay in the game, they will. They definitely will. Right now, with an election going on, they're willing to give you a buy. But after November, if they even think you're still a player, mm. they can take this case down off the shelf, and the shit in the case might not be enough to keep you free. You understand? Give up the crown. Well. That's the deal, kiddo. Is the king gonna give up his I'll crown? Get better for you. This thing with Avon, man. The king, stay the king. Please give me another Wood Harris cameo, please. Come on. I think we had our fair share of him already, but he's gonna get a walk after being charged with a multi-million-dollar drug seizure. That doesn't happen very often, and when it does happen, the name and number of the defense attorney goes in the front pocket of every respectable drug trafficker. <laughs> You're a genius for what you brought me on this. Just doing what I do, right? You need to know something, all you gotta do is ask. It's what a detective is, right? Here. You should come over for dinner tonight. The vet's making brisket. Your house? You're Mishboka now. Damn. Herc part of the game. He went from attacking the game and so. taking it down to being a part of it. That's his initiation right there. The deal with the devil. It's down. Not that this thing's ever going to trial. The guy has NCR written all over him. Can't argue. Padded room at Clifton T. Perkins is definitely called for. He go for all of them? No, sir. It's the last two. He did ah. the other. He ain't exactly denying anything in there. I mean, he'll cop to anything we damn please. And go back and get it. Excuse me? Yeah, pin it on all of them. That's what if I'm saying. NCR, what the fuck is the difference if he cops to two or six? Exactly. Either way, they tie his arms and feed him green jello. Sir, he did the last two. <laughs> Motherfucker. You are a cunt hair away from indictment, and you see fit to argue with me? I did what I did, I know. And now I'm standing responsible for two fresh murders. I know what I've done here. But I'm not doing this. Damn. After all the shit we've done, he ain't gonna do more shit. He'd be like, I, he's had his final straw. He's had enough. He's like, I'm not doing any more. <laughs> Maybe that's the next stage. Maybe that's the next step for McNulty, you know? Um, after all the shit that he did, he's finally able to put a lid on it. And he's like, you know what? I'm not opening that again just for an extra two or four. We've stopped at the two. I've settled the ones you wanted me to do and I'm not pinning it on the shit I covered up in the past. Fair enough. Fair enough. We are charging the last two incidents, but it is my understanding that he is suspected in all of the crimes. That's one way to spin it, yeah. We're waiting for DNA test results. Indications are that he may be mentally incapacitated and therefore additional prosecutions would prove redundant. I would also like to credit Deputy Commissioner for Operations Daniels uh, with not only bringing these cases to their proper conclusion, but also one way to clean the mess. last year's slayings in the vacant row houses, sending the deputy's name forward to the city council for confirmation as Baltimore Police Commissioner. Woo! <laughs> Roll's laughing, man, because he knows what he's going to get. So extremely grateful will serve in an advisory capacity pending new responsibilities at City Hall. Sellouts, man. Sellouts! I think that's one of the very first establishing shots of the city we've seen in this show. I could be wrong, but that was one of the first, like... I don't know. Sunset shots? Like, I feel like we haven't seen these establishing shots in a while. The calm before the storm. <laughs> Maybe signifying a bit of time passing, that's why. And life goes on in Baltimore. Definitely. Having ducked the bullet on that homeless mess, I want you to know that the mayor and I both 
appreciate your discretion. But right now, we can't take our eyes off the ball when it comes to crime. He's commissioner. Overall. He's commissioner. Looking at your weekly UCRs from the districts, I am not seeing the kind of decline that's going to measure out to a 10% drop in the quarter. They're clean. The stats are clean. They're going to stay clean. <laughs> Either we fix this police department and the crime goes down, or we don't, and the crime stays up. Commissioner, we're talking about a little help. In the next couple quarters, that's all. No, I can't. You're quiet on the homeless fiasco, but this makes you squeal? What the... Tell the mayor his debts will be clean before the election. After the election. <laughs> He's had enough of the dirt, right. man. The dirt was too much. You. Now without a bouncing back on City Hall, if you don't mind being buried in some backroom unit, you can... Look at Lester in the back, y'all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his posture. He got the head tilted. I don't know. Really reminding me of Beverly Hills Cop, man. He just, he just smiling. <laughs> stay for as long as you can stand it, or until he gets pension. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't let you do police work. Not anything that's gonna find its way into a courtroom. I that's that's fair enough. That. For both of you, that's over. That was a given, surely. So, Marlowe walks. Or you go to jail. And you couldn't do any better but leave you. I mean, giving up the money. I got what I could. You lost the money trail, Lester, when you decided to start coloring outside of the lines. This isn't on me. Ten million. Hey! Oh, I did it if I had ten for more than one. <laughs> Shit. I've been there, done. You're something else other than a gangster. <laughs> Businessman. <laughs> shit, it's old man. I can't get that shit wrapped around my head neither. Why is this the most civil conversation we have had with Marlo and the co-op? We're having a co-op meeting in the prison and it's the most, you know, they've got along ever. And it's actually hilarious. It's actually hilarious. I feel like Marlo has gone to terms with what, you know, relinquishing the crown. But I don't know. The king stayed the king, but I feel like he's accepted, you know, that he's had his time. He's had his tenure. And I just feel like he's on to bigger and better things. He did what he had to do. I just feel like... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But this is interesting. Slim Charles is here. Oh, man. It's good to see him back. Anyway, y'all can't get my price up. Maybe y'all pull y'all money. 10 mil will set him up for life. But supply only going to deal with y'all after I make the intro. <laughs> then, I'm out. You got a problem. I thought Daniels was your boy. We both got a problem if crime doesn't drop. Carcetti loses the state house and you aren't mayor. And, and even if he wins, Norris, you're stuck with a police commissioner. And won't Can we? Again. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not stuck with anything. I, I, I'm you. sorry. Can we talk about the signage in the background right here? Um, the street signage. I know it's not meant to be for the street, but it says parking reserved for city council member Norris Campbell and a uh, tow away zone. What the heck? If that doesn't say enough about her character. <laughs> Carcetti loses the state house and you aren't mayor. And, and even if he wins, Norris, you're stuck with a police commissioner and won't work with you. Daniels either comes around or he's done. We just anointed him. We can't go back on that now. He knows it. Yeah. Either he learns his place or he'll be offering to resign. Oh, you ain't the only one who knows how to play this game. Yo, Norris is cold. I've said it. She cold, man. She ruthless. She know how to be mayor. She's gonna be a better mayor than Carcetti. I'm saying it now. What do you say about this piece of work? 
Yo, who passed away now? Oh. Is it McNulty? What can I say about the alien? Oh. Really? He died young. Too young. It's McNulty because he rose. Had it lived, his dick would have been 134. He raised his head up. It's coming to me. Uh, it's McNulty's farewell, isn't it? He was the black sheep. The permanent pariah. He was as stubborn a mick as ever stumbled out of the Northeast parishes to take a patrolman shield. He broke no authority. He did what he wanted to do, and he, he said what he wanted to say. And in the end, he gave you the clearances. He's natural police. Yes, he was. And I don't say that about many people, even when they're here on a felt. I don't give that one up unless it happens to be true. <laughs> natural police. Police. <laughs> Bro, everybody love it. It's McNulty. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I caught I caught it. I caught it. I'm not talking about the ordinary gaping orifice for all of us. I mean, in all encounters, after all, all the shit seen, they put up with, the send off. Every other facet of his humanity cast. The send off. <laughs> How about Lester, man? Quote Shakespeare, no traveler has ever returned. How <laughs> fucking I do? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're dead to us now. <laughs> 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 Yeah, there we go. Oh, Shadi! No way! Be gentle, be gentle. I'm a civilian now. <laughs> yeah, this afternoon, 32 years. <laughs> Y'all did a fine job with him, you did. You look to be about 10 years younger than I remember. <laughs> Shadi got that mad haircut, man. Look at shit out of the 60s and 70s. <laughs> <laughs> I got the wifey. I will conclude my elegiac remarks. Then do it, you Gabby motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> to conclude, I say he gave us 13 years on the line. Not enough for a pension, but enough for us to know that he was. Put the fucking song on, despite you. his negligible Irish ancestry. His defects of personality <laughs> and his inconstant sobriety and hygiene. <laughs> this is the nicest I've seen Jay to McNulty. Murder police. A true murder police. Jimmy, I say this seriously. If I was laying there dead on some Baltimore street corner, I'd want it to be you standing over me catching the case. Damn. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> because, brother, when you were good, you were the best we had. <laughs> Jenny, if you were lying there dead on some corner, probably Jimmy that done you. <laughs> I'm almost getting too lost here and at all. You know, forgetting about everything that happened. But I'm not. I'm not. You're still a cheating scumbag. You're a liar. But you know what? Does he deserve a third, fourth, fifth, sixth chance? Who knows, man? It's a good send off though from McNulty and Lester. And it's good to see Shardy. Sidna, oh. The death of Jimmy McNulty. He acknowledged it in that scene with um, Templeton anyway. That was his death. Does McNulty potentially have. I was about to say, could he potentially go to the FBI or does he have too much dirt on him? They won't hire him. Um, because it could potentially end up in a courthouse no matter what investigation he does. So any type of police work is off limits. In the USA. <laughs> That's a cool send off. I'm not going to lie. That was a well done scene. How did Maurice Campbell get it? You think I asked? You think it even matters? Oh, she got she it off. to me because she thought you'd listen to me. Did she get it off Burel? She got off Burel. She got that leverage on him now. Well, the way she expressed it is that she wanted you to stay if you could come to your senses. Come to my senses. She wants me to juke the stats for Carcetti this quarter and the next. Hide the crime, get him elected as governor, and make her the mayor. So do it. Burrell juke them before you. Warren Frazier before him. But that's not Daniels, man. Or whoever will juke them, so what? 
And the cycle goes on. I'll swallow a lie when I have to. I've swallowed a few big ones lately. But the stacked games, that lie, it's what ruined this department. Shining up shit and calling it gold so mages become colonels and mayors become governors. Why doesn't Nerese come and handle this face to face with Daniels? Man up and come face him face to face. Why don't, doesn't she have the balls to come down here and, you know, talk to him? See eye to eye? Come on, Nerese. Come on. Pretending to do police work while one generation fucking trains the next time not to do the job. And then. Say how it is, Daniels. Speak. I looked Kalkedi in the eye. I shook his hand. I asked him if he was for real. That is true. They all sold this out. Is the lie I can't live with. They sold out. If I do, then Nerese has me in her pocket whenever she wants me. But if you don't go, they'll wreck both of us. There's not enough in here to indict me. And the joke of it is, I've seen enough the last few days to have them indicted. <laughs> for what? For what? Brother. Is it Cedric? Or at least threatened to. People will get hurt. If a tree that doesn't bend breaks, Cedric. Bend too far. You're already broken. Damn. The walk. Damn. And the money. Jimmy, she gave that away too. Don't get to follow the money. Hey. I was wondering where you was. I didn't know if I should come out on this here. Why the fuck <laughs> not? What's made you tell Daniels? <laughs> I didn't want to do it behind your back, but uh, it had to be done. Fair play. You just gotta, you just gotta swallow that one. It's great being on the job with y'all. I just wanted to say that too, I guess. Do what? You ain't gonna drink with me? I am if you want. <laughs> Is there some sort of parallel here between the line of police work as well and obviously the game? Um, we saw Omar and, you know, the episode where he tragically met his fate and, you know, we held him to such a high esteem. Um, you know, the Dark Knight, the Batman of the show, you know, a little bit above human. Um, but they completely dumbed that down in the episode and, you know, made it out for what it was. You know, he met his end to a child. He became victim to the game. The game is ruthless and the game will continue to carry on. The cycle goes on now. And, you know, he won't even be remembered. He just passes on and that's it. And Omar had his time in Baltimore. Um, he had his time on the streets. Yeah, he might be remembered for a little bit, but then other than that, it goes on. The list goes on um, or the cycle goes on. Now, it could be the same with police work here in these guys, Lester um, and McNulty, who done time for the police game, who done so much and offered so much. Their time has come to an end. And, you know, will they be remembered like really that much? Like the cycle will go on as that and new detectives will fill in their roles. Um and it just goes on it's it's, it's it's just what it is it's just it's life and any type of game you play is ruthless and i just feel like yeah it's sad seeing it it's sad seeing you know um lester and mcnulty's careers come to an end after the amount of time they have done but i feel like even individuals who had served their time in the game in the streets of Baltimore, Avon, their time came to an end as well. Um, and I loved sort of like the parallel storylines here um, with sort of like very similar endings as well. No matter which side of the field you're on, no matter which um, side of the game you're on, whether you're on the opposite side of the law, whether, you know, you're trying to um, inflict the law upon others, it, it sort of nearly has the same outcome. Detective. Burrell as well had his time. You think you need to do it. Clay Davis. I guess it did. You know, Jimmy McNulty Good. died. Nah, he's going to Beatty. He's going to Beatty. No way, he gonna give some money to the homeless. Okay. Room came with six hundred. Lil Glenn is in for three. I got five from me, and I got five from Chinaman to cover. We still short 900. I can go with that, no time. 
Motherfucker, where you get that kind of scratch? You don't think cheese know this here game? We selling dope and coke in Baltimore, nigga. Any of y'all ain't got that kind of money, need be ashamed. You're still putting up more. It's the New York product, that's why. The way I look at it, y'all gonna be more than paid once we own the connect, so. Shit, nigga, we was good when your uncle had it. We had to go ahead and put up with Marlo. See that? See now? That's just the wrong way to look at it. Because Joe had his time. And Omar put an end to that. Then Marlo had his time, short as it was. And the police put an end to that. And now, motherfucker, it's our time. Mine's and yours. But instead of just shutting up and kicking in, you're going to stand there crying that back in the day shit. Jeez. There ain't no back in the day, nigga. Ain't no nostalgia to this shit here. Exactly. There's just the street and the game and what happened here today. Right. That's it. The game evolves. The game don't care about the past. My uncle, I was with my uncle. When it was Marlo, I was with him. But now, nigga. What the fuck you do that for? Now we short the nine. That was for Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this sentimental motherfucker just cost us money. Oh, his body's still twitching. Damn, cheese. The cheese done melted. Damn. Method man. No. <laughs> that was coming. That was coming anyway. That was coming anyway. Slim Charles been holding that in for a while. Joe done so much. <laughs> oh, the train sound in the background. The train horn. That was a beautiful scene right there. Insects, crickets. Beatty taking McNulty back, it looks like. The road home. <laughs> hey, Bob's made the front page. That's a great picture he used for Bob's as well. I gotta be honest. Ooh, that Bob Marley T. <laughs> Bob's gotta hide his identity. He's a bit famous now. <laughs> we gotta wear the shades. I, I love that shot right there with McNulty and Beatty um, sort of on the, um, the stepping stones leading up to the veranda into the house. It really reminds me of... Um, one of the opening shots of The Wire. Remember the first episode, The Target? Now, this might be a reach, but McNulty was talking um, with that individual on the stepping stones as well, and they were sitting in a sort of similar position. Obviously, this time, he's got his lover, he's got Beady um, leaning onto his shoulder and hugging him, but it really reminded me of that opening scene, and if that is the final shot we get of McNulty for the entire Wire series, um, it's sort of like a situation of, um, you know, we look ahead to the future. We start a new life, a new beginning. Um, and we start with McNulty in the target doing detective work in that sort of same position on the stepping stone, you know, looking into the distance and then it racks focus on the body. But then here we come full circle. He's sitting on that stepping stone um, or he's sitting on the stairs, obviously, um, outside his house or outside Beatty's house and they're together hopefully looking towards a new future a new beginning you know the detective stuff the police stuff it's all behind that's in the past um and yeah we can move on to hopefully better things um and we start a new a fresh start hit the reset button you know we start with McNulty in the thick of things in the detective work before the opening credits come oh Alma done with this Alma done I just heard. Did they get rid of her? The Carroll County Bureau? That's how they punish me? Wow. They just send my ass all the way to Pennsylvania. What'd they tell you? That I did an excellent job. Wow. That this had nothing to do with anything but trying to make the County Bureau stronger. Um, I didn't tell them about the notepad. I left that part out. I told them. Oh. When I heard you were in trouble, I went to Whiting. Told them I thought you were right about Scott. I told them about the notepad. Did he make all of it up? The calls from the killer? The pictures? Some, not all. 
The pond is shrinking. The fish are nervous. And they're protecting their poster boy. Win a prize. Maybe find a bigger pond somewhere. Whiting, Clevenel, Templeton. They snatch a Pulitzer or two, and they are up and gone from this place. They go to Washington. For them, that's what this is all about. Me, I'm too fucking simple-minded for that. I just wanted to see something new every day. Write a story with it. Um, you'll write your way out of Carol in no time. Watch. About as fast as you edit your way off the copy. <laughs> That's a sad send off for Alma. Oh, Menkin, that's the quote. That's the quote from the beginning of the episode, right? Menkin, that was that guy. H.L. Menkin, 1953. As I look back over a misspent life, I find myself more and more convinced that I had more fun doing news reporting than in any other entity. Than than in any other enterprise. It is really the life of kings. <laughs> That's the quote from the beginning. It is really the life of kings. Congratulations, Sergeant Gitter. I know you'll do well in these two. <laughs> Glad I got to do this at least. Congratulations, Lieutenant Carl. Thank you, sir. Big up the promotion. So you. I'm serving under. Word gets around, huh? It's on WBAL today. Oh, so he already resigned. Yep. I guess I got some kids somewhere I don't even know about. <laughs> this old BAL who they're sending up as acting commissioner? Say it ain't so. Ladies and gentlemen, as what may be my last official act as a Baltimore police officer, allow me to congratulate all of the promoted officers, their families, their fellow officers, and their friends. <laughs> Thing is, I think her gonna be making way more money than Carver in his position. <laughs> but it's not about the money, but I'm just saying. See now. There you go. Giving a fuck when it ain't your turn to give a fuck. Lehman squad was up. That needs the OT. Yeah, now you gotta shoot him with no wits. No suspect. No prayer of it going to black. Picking up the phone like a goddamn rookie. Shame on you. Stop squealing like a bitch. Shame on you. Make sure you don't step on that shell case behind you. I ain't gonna kick no shell case behind me. Right down the side. I'm gonna step back and kick no damn shell case. It's bunking Kima now. The new, the new duo. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't the last we saw of McNulty. And you said you were prized for SSI, Mr. Bowman. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's go inside and look it up. Oh, community work. Hey, you remember me? Oh, that's the shelter he dropped off I the kidnapped home like homeless guy, yeah. Years. And if the Major could find his ass with his hand, he'd know that we have more than enough to be up on a pen register. Lieutenant Carver told him so. But fuck if he isn't trying to shut this thing down. We got a Sidna, man. All I'm saying is phone call or two and you're gonna find out that they're getting some kind of pressure from somewhere to sit on this thing even though we tied three killings to this crew does the police commissioner know him you wouldn't know police work if it took down his front door on a warrant <laughs> just uh keep my name out of it <laughs> That's what McNulty said in the like one of the first year episodes. I wonder if he will. Big old Sid, though, man. Oh man, that's a cool callback. Ten years ago, except the land's cheaper. It's got to be Tommy, and they're leaving early, so let me borrow him for a moment. Sure. Businessman Marla. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stanfield. He's someone you're gonna want to know well. But kid, do not. Do not get in a room with him alone. You want me in there with you, believe me. Otherwise, guys like that will bleed you. No, I want you to meet Tommy Flanagan before he leaves. Yeah. He in the string up position. Bathroom? Yeah. Down the hall to the right. <laughs> this is actually insane. This is crazy, man. Watch that stuff. Put on weight. Watch that. Where he going? Where he going? He taking care of business? Oh, <laughs> back to the rim stall. I want you to make sure that you watch this one and don't grab 
Michael. Oh. Don't do it, Jesus. With the shotgun and the hoodie. Time to get that up. Do you know who I am? His name's Vincent. Used to be Marlo's bank, but Marlo ain't around no more. And we're still moving money for other players. So, I'm thinking some of that money need to be mine. See, Shit. the game will find its replacement. You're just a boy. Mm. That's just me. <laughs> I remember when Marlo first did the hit on Weebay and the boys. I believe he shot one of them in the knee with the shotgun as well. <laughs> I remember in the in 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 the low rises. That's doing business, gentlemen. Oh, into the shadows as well. Bam. Marlo gonna test if he's really known in the street. You, nigga. That exactly. Ah, ah! Did, did he want to? Did he want to get that rush one last time? Possibly, you know, to stand on them corners to make it, you know, to have that, you know, that feeling of me being the king standing on that corner one last time. Because obviously, I thought he was just gonna go up to them and see if they recognize him. Oh, yo, that's Marlo Stanfield. Um, but no. You know, the game moves on as well. Um, and there's new players in town and maybe it's a different corner um, or, you know, um, ownership of those corners have changed. But I feel like he wanted to get that rush one last time. And then obviously we cut to that beautiful wide long shot at the end of the king reclaiming his crown for one last time. I feel like one last second, Marlo Stanford standing tall on the corner. Um, or maybe, yeah, listen, he even you know, smelt and tasted the blood a little bit. Um, and, you know, I just feel like he wanted to get a taste of the game one last time before he truly, I think, leaves it, in my opinion. Um, because I feel like Levy talked about after the elections, they can't get any dirt on you whatsoever. Uh, or like, you can't, you got to be gone by then, basically. For now, for the time being, it's okay. But after the elections, you got to be gone. Um, I just think, yeah, that was Marlo. Um not going back into the game, but, you know, getting one last shot at the crown or, you know, to see if he still got it in him. Um, because obviously he needed to clean himself after being in that corporate world upstairs. He needs to go down back to the streets, he back, back back to what he knows. Um, I feel like, yeah, he, he's like, this This is not me. This is the, the suit and tie, um, you know, with all those corporate individuals and all those elites. Um, I'm a street individual. And I feel like he had to remind himself about that. And, you know, just to see he still got it in him. I could be completely wrong there, but I just love that. I love that. I actually love that. You know, you'll always have that in you, Marlo. Oh, he's taking him home, isn't he? Is he? To his family? Because is he the one that his family got interviewed by Kimo? No. Hey, yo, spider! <laughs> Are we gonna end with another wire montage? Oh, that's the corner that Bodhi got shot up yet. Yeah? Is that the farewell corner? You better watch your Damn, baby. The OG wire thing. The pole shot. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey, Herc got all the money to be shouting everyone now. <laughs> he in the Levy camp. Brother, I'd go on stage and smash that Pulitzer Award right now. Von Das, Von Das the Greek with Slim Charles. I never thought I'd see the day. Damn, he won governor. I'm guessing. Yep, elected governor, 88%. At least he can have one journalist to be proud of. Yo, Valchek! Is Valchek police commissioner? No! <laughs> Marie! Oh, uh, you know, hey! Oh, listen, uh, Dookie, I talked about it last episode with Dookie, um, and I talked about him potentially becoming the new Bubbles. Now, um, we saw that scene with Marlo Stanfield at the end, and I feel like that's all he knows. All Marlo knows is the game. And that's who, you know, he will truly be in life. Listen, he could take it upon to continue with Levy and go the Stringer Bell route. But that's, I don't feel like that's in him because he approached those guys on those corners fearlessly. Um, but it, it's a reminder as well to how ruthless the game is um, when we don't know who you are. Don't you know who I am? You know, it's crazy how quick the game moves on. You know, your name is basically non-existent. Your game, your name has gone into legend. And, you know, he had to remind those guys that. And all he knows is standing on them corners. He's the new Avon. Um, and I feel like Marlo will maybe... Listen, with the way he gave up the connect, he's got the 10 mil to move on with his life now. He's got the... he's He set himself up for life. He's going to be a businessman but he could be the new avon in terms of like not showing his face um and continue to like reclaim the crown um in a way where he operates from the higher ups now he's with the elites um and yeah he's got the connections for that uh he can stay away from the game but i feel like i don't know i just see it as a way where he had to reclaim his throne one last time. He had to stand tall on them corners. Um, and it's a reminder as to what he knows. That could be the death of Marlo in terms of a way, um, you know, that's it. One last time standing on them corners um, and that's it. He goes, you know, back up to Levy. Um, and, but I just feel like you're never going to talk the game out of anyone. The game never leaves you. Um, and I love this ending right here. I love this montage because Dookie becomes the new Bubbles, it seems like. Michael becomes the new Omar, and it's a thing I've said since the beginning of The Wire, and I feel like I've hit the nail of the, on the head, and I feel like you guys will agree with me, the game is this cyclical thing, um, and I'm not talking about the game on the streets, I'm talking also about the political game, um, you have to nuke this thing into orbit to really, really, um, you know, fix the problem. You know, Valchek, an individual has dirt on him as well, becomes commissioner. And he will be the biggest yes man to Norris ever. Um, and it continues. The game goes on. The cycle continues. Those individuals who leave um, and, you know, leave on a high note or leave, you know, on the moral high ground. Another individual will just come and fill their place and will have heaps of dirt on them. Um, and no matter how much they do to try and change things, they can't. Ah, so good. Fucking so good, man. This show hammers down its message so well. It's ruthless and he's, yep, he's shooting up far out, man. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad, but... That's crazy. He took up the law route. He took oh, Chris in jail, man. Chris gonna be the new Cuddy. Chris and Weave. <laughs> oh man, that's an inter Oh man, what an ending. What an ending montage. Governor Karketi, superintendent. Bob's finally got through that door. Let's go. Let's go. I feel like that was his barrier in life, and he got through that barrier. It's my turn to be Omar. Bro, what has he done now, Control? It goes on. It goes on. Nothing's changed. Nothing really got fixed. We put so many band-aids on in this show. 
but no. The black couch remains. Beanie. Oh, everything. The ducks, everything. The low risers. I thought the low risers got demolished. I feel like that's, yep. I feel like this is just like a reek. Yeah, we're, we're just seeing scenes of the past. The chess scene, everything. He reflecting on everything. He reflecting on everything. And it was all for nothing. It was all for nothing. The Avengers did what they could. But in the end, the game beat them. Let's go. <laughs> Take one last look at that city, man. We did nothing to change it. We tried our best. We tried to rig the game. But the game rigs you back. So good. So good. So good. So good. That has been The Wire, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, man, let's go. Let's go. That is so good. That is so good. What a fantastic piece of television, man. What a fantastic piece of television. Amazing, amazing, amazing. What a phenomenal show, man. What a phenomenal show. Um, listen, my only issue with season five is that it wasn't long enough. I would have loved those extra three episodes and I would have loved for an episode 12 or an episode 13 to be 90 minutes. Just those two extra episodes, I feel like they could have done much more with them. And I feel like more characters could have got more screen time, but I feel like they did an excellent job with the time they have. Um, I feel like even though those characters who had less screen time, um, uh, even though like certain characters had less screen time, the time they were given on screen was phenomenal. Like even that, even that Wee Bay and Chris interaction, um, even though it was non-verbal, I know what they were talking about, man. I was just like, I was hyped to see it. I was hyped to see it. I just wish we would have seen Avon maybe one last time, but man, what a fantastic finale. That's a, that's a fantastic finale for an amazing series, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, an amazing, um, iconic wire montage to end the final episode, you know, um, basically telling us nothing has changed, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we had all those iconic moments, um, but the cycle goes on, the game continues, um, and the game has found its replacements for the time being, um, and it's sad, it's sad in a way, it's really sad seeing, you know, I wanted the best for Dookie, um, but they just fall victim, um to what's around them they fall victim to like you know a lack of guidance someone to put a hand over their shoulder presbolewski tried his best but you can't save everyone um naming you know the best thing randy's in the group homes we know my man it, it's sad it's sad this cycle um and especially seeing the kids who you followed in season four um you know basically end up filling the gaps for some of the big characters in the game so it is what it is um and, you know, I think to myself, I want Duquan to, you know, get that help initially, but it doesn't seem that he's going to be the new Bubbles and it might be a little too late. He might overdose. He might die. Oh, it's, it's sad, man. It's sad, but sad state of the wire. It's just the wire. And it feels so real. It feels so real. I want to jump in the screen and save these individuals. I want to jump in the screen and give these guys a word. I want to jump in the screen and give Scott Templeton and those two guys widen a right hook, man. But, like, it is what it is. Like, and that's how real The Wire is. This is the realest show I've probably ever watched. Um, and, listen, The Sopranos is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I don't know which is better um, off the bat. If uh, I love The Sopranos so much. The Sopranos is so much. I, 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 uh, sorry. I love The Sopranos so much. And The Sopranos does a fantastic job as well at making it feel so real. Making it as if... It's not a camera um, in front of these characters, making it as if you're the camera following these real life events. And The Wire does that as well, superbly. Um, it's just, it's it's absolutely phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. And oh man, oh man, like 
there hasn't been a piece of television like this in a while i feel like nothing comes close to recapturing this in terms of how real and grounded it is in terms of its commentary um on certain um things in society it's absolutely phenomenal i hope you guys enjoyed the journey with me this has been an hour 50 reaction hour 50 minutes it's nearly two hours and this is going to be a long reaction but i do hope you guys enjoy it i've said my piece on it i absolutely loved it I love the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Will I rewatch it? That's an interesting thought because it's hard to rewatch things when you're watching things for YouTube. It's hard to find time outside of it um, to rewatch other shows. But I'm telling you right now, these characters will be referenced in other reactions. These characters will, you know, live with me forever. I will carry their names. Even though the game forgot their names, I won't forget their names. We won't forget their names. It's been your boy, Ellie Moses. This has been The Wire. What a journey it has been. Take care. God bless and peace for one last time for The Wire.